Kevin Poirier and Nate Diaz. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Poirier and... Here you go, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go, we are getting on. underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Diaz gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Visibly limping here. He's down. Caught him with a punch. Inside leg kick is good. There's that kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Big left hook. He's got one here. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> that was awesome. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. And let's look at it from a different angle. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mallory Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Justin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen, we have watched his development firsthand in the UFC. He's focused on being more defensively responsible, but his offense was the big story in this one. This is a lightweight force to be reckoned with. Perhaps a title eliminator type fight will be next for the Diamond after the big W here tonight.